Just like a stubborn kid who refuses to eat their vegetables, even your dog will turn down some foods from time to time. There are many foods though that your dog probably should refuse to eat, but almost certainly won't. So it's up to you as the owner to keep them away from your dog and keep your dog safe. Uh, a lot of the foods you and I eat on a regular basis can be extremely poisonous to dogs. Even something as innocent as giving your dog a few table scraps of the wrong type of food can cause serious harm or even death to your dog. So this season, I think this is really critical to know information. You have to know this because I can almost guarantee that a lot of these foods are gonna be out on the dinner table this holiday season, and you might be surprised at how harmful some of them can be to your dog. Up first is onions, or even just onion powder, because this contains an ingredient called thiosulfate. And thiosulfate is deadly to dogs if it consumed in large quantities, but it can also just build up in a dog's system over time with repeat exposure. And now this causes uh, the dog's blood cells not to be able to distribute oxygen as well to the rest of the body, and in severe cases can lead to death or even just a, a blood transfusion to recover from, which is very serious as well. So next time grandma drops her casserole that's heavy on the onions, make sure you get to it first before your dog does. Up next is raw dough, and that's mainly because of the yeast in it. So this could be raw cookie dough, cake mixes, or raw bread dough. Um, all of that you should keep away from your dog because the yeast in your dog's system can produce excess gas in their stomach area, cause swelling, and lead to a number of problems, including ruptures in their intestines, and that can lead to death. And we already know that Dobermans have problems with gas buildup uh, in the form of bloat, so this is one thing you definitely don't need to expose your dog to. So you might get to snack from some of those uh, raw cookie doughs you have laying around when you're cooking, but don't let your dog do it. Up next is coffee and teas, and really anything with caffeine in it. So I'm going to group in here uh, coffee grounds, soft drinks, that kind of thing. The problem is the caffeine, because it can raise your dog's blood pressure, it can cause damage to their heart, and it will ultimately potentially lead to uh, muscle spasm, seizures, coma, and maybe even death if they've had enough of it. It can have lasting, long-term effects and cause damage to their kidneys, their livers, even their central nervous system. So make sure that you keep your dog clear of any access to anything with caffeine in it. Up next is oranges, limes, and lemons, really anything from a citrus plant. And that's because the citric acid and the essential oils can cause upset stomach, vomiting, weakness, uh, and diarrhea in your dog. And even one slice of lemon can cause the diarrhea and the vomiting. But if they eat more than that, it can produce some more serious symptoms like uh, muscle spasms, the inability to walk or stand, and drooling. Uh, and really, if you ingest significant amounts of this, or if your dog does, um, it can cause liver failure or even death. Next, just steer clear of really any sugar-free foods to your dog, uh, primarily because of an ingredient that's often used as an artificial sweetener called xylitol. Xylitol is fine for you and me, but it's very poisonous to dogs. Uh, and it really can come in anything and it appear on some labels that you may not expect. So when you're checking the ingredients list on a, a certain food, check for xylitol or any of these other names that I have up on your screen. If you see any of these, definitely avoid giving it to your dog. Now, it could be in a broad range of foods. I mean, anything from uh, baked goods to yogurt to peanut butter to uh, pancake syrup, barbecue sauce, uh, ketchup, pudding. I mean, the list goes on and on. Anything sugar-free a lot of times has this. Um, uh, mouthwash even, gum will have it in there. Gum can be really deadly. If your dog even eats like a pack of gum, that could be deadly to your dog. So anything that potentially has these artificial sweeteners in it, um, xylitol or any of these other names for it, definitely make sure you avoid it for your dog. Up next is grapes or raisins. Now this one's interesting because it's still somewhat of a mystery to science. They haven't pinpointed what it is in them that is so toxic to dogs, but grapes and raisins have proven to be toxic to dogs and can really damage their kidneys. Even one handful of raisins can cause serious kidney damage or even kill a dog. Up next is garlic and garlic powder. Now, just like with onions, it contains something called thiosulfate, which can damage the red blood cells and their ability to bring oxygen throughout the body. It can really wreak havoc on your dog. Um, now, surprisingly, some store-bought dog treats actually include a little bit of garlic in their ingredients. Um, you really would have to ingest a really large amount of garlic for it to be toxic, but it can build up in the dog system over time as well. So it's best to just avoid if you can. Um, so next time grandma drops the uh, garlic laced uh, French 
French bread, make sure your dog avoids it. Up next is chocolate. Now, chocolate contains a compound called theobromine, which is a heart stimulant and a diuretic. And it also has caffeine in it, which we talked a little bit about earlier. But if your dog eats enough of it, it can lead to heart attacks, internal bleeding, muscle tremors, seizures, or even death, uh, which is all really scary for a dog. But the general rule here is uh, the darker and the less sweet the chocolate is, the more dangerous it is for your dog. So as an example, unsweetened baker's chocolate and cocoa powder are some of the most dangerous for your dog. Um, and I learned in my research for this video as an example that a 44 pound dog that eats just one ounce of unsweetened Baker's chocolate um, can, that could be toxic for that dog. So make sure if you have chocolate around, you get to it first before your dog does, which I'm sure you would probably prefer anyway. Up next is fruit pits and seeds. Now this applies to most pits and seeds, so I think it's a good idea just to avoid them entirely. And that's because a lot of them are very toxic to your dog. As an example, eating uh, apple seeds, peach pits, cherry pits, or apricot pits can lead to cyanide poisoning in your dog, which is a really scary thing. It can cause difficulty breathing, a shock, or even death to your dog. And although a lot of times the fruits themselves are okay, their seeds are not. So take really special care if you're giving your dog any some fruits. Uh, make sure A, the fruit is safe for your dog, but B, that the seeds are removed. Up next is macadamia nuts. And this is another one that's somewhat of a mystery because, you know, they haven't figured out exactly what it is about them that causes these bad reactions in dogs. But uh, it's a good one to keep your dog clear of because it can lead to weakness, uh, muscle spasms, uh, tremors, lethargy, vomiting in your dog, and a whole lot of problems. So remember, too, that macadamia nuts come in a lot of baked goods this time of year. So make sure you keep those away from your dog. Now this is a list of some of the important foods to avoid giving to your dog, but it's certainly not all inclusive. There are many other things that can be dangerous for your dog, such as alcoholic beverages, a salt, baking soda, baking powder, nutmeg, raw or undercooked meat, eggs, or bones. That's because of salmonella poisoning potential, which is one reason you don't see me recommending raw meat on this channel. Um, potato peeling, stems and leaves, or green or undercooked potatoes, uh, also moldy or spoiled food. All these things can also be dangerous to your dog. Now, if your dog does consume any of the things that I've mentioned here in this video, it might be a great idea to consult with your veterinarian, because remember, I'm not one. On a more positive note, guys, if you want to see a video about 10 foods that are safe for your dog and potentially even beneficial for your dog, I did a video all about that, which actually included a really cool taste test with Arlo. And if you want to see that video, it should be popping up right now in the corner of your screen. Do me a favor, guys. This year, a lot of Dobermans are going to get into a lot of things they probably shouldn't. So please share this video online with other Doberman owners everywhere, anywhere you can, uh, because it's important they know what foods are harmful or even potentially deadly for their dogs. I really would love it if we could save a few Doberman lives this year. So please share this video. In case you guys have been following along with me, you know that I've been trying out a service called Ollie. And Ollie is a fresh human grade food delivery service which delivers uh, human grade food straight to your door just for your dog, specifically vet formulated for your dog and their situation. It's a great way to really spoil your dog and it has a lot of nutritional value. Um, and it's really healthy for your dog. If you want to follow along with me and try out Ollie for yourself for your dog, the link will be down in the description below, but I'm certainly still planning to update you all on the whole service as soon as I give it a really good trial run with Arlo, but so far, things are going great. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and the bell icon next to it, and keep being great Doberman breed ambassadors and spreading the word about how amazing these big goofballs are to live with. Um, I will see you guys next time. that even your dog may turn down from time to time. What are you doing? Hey. Hey, you weren't supposed to want to eat that. <laughs>